Before I discuss how to map PlaySat, I want us to look at a pattern here. So consider, suppose you are given um, these questions. You are asked to find square root of 4 multiplied by square root of 9. Um, and on the other side, you are asked to find the square root of 4 multiplied by 9. Will this answer be the same? Well, let's find out. Um, so, on the left-hand side, we know that the square root of 4 is 2. The square root of 9 is 3. And 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. On the right-hand side, we know that the square root of 4 multiplied by 9 this is the same as the square root of, uh, we know 4 multiplied by 9 is 36. And what is the square root of 36? It's 6. Which is interesting. So these questions are giving us the same answer, which implies that maybe this part uh, of the question, of this question, the way it's said, is the same as that. Let's try with a different question. So suppose you're asked to find what square root of 16 multiplied by square root of 25 is. And another person is asked to find what the square root of 16 multiplied by 25 is. So let's start on the left-hand side. Now, um, square root of 16 is 4. Square root of 25 is 5. 4 multiplied by 5 is 20. On the right hand side, and you can use a calculator here if you want, um, 16 multiplied by 25 is 400. And the square root of 400 is 20. You can use your calculator to check. Now, there are Two things here that we have, we can notice. One is um, this part of the question is same as that part of the question. At the same time, this part of the question is the same as that part of the question. So we can generalize and say that if you have a square root of a multiplied by square root of b, that should be equal to the square root of a multiplied by b. Or we can say that square root of a multiplied by square root of b is square root of ab, where ab of course means a multiplied by b. Now this is a very important result that we'll be using when multiplying sides. So let's look at some examples. A, suppose you're asked to find the square root of 2 multiplied by 3, we can just use um, the results that we have uh, concluded on the, right, on the other um, page that square root of 2 multiplied by square root of 3 is the same as square root of 2 multiplied by 3, which is the square root of 6. And we leave our answer as a sub. Um, next question. This will be square root of 2 multiplied by 7, which is square root of 14. Then we just leave our answer as a sad. The next question will have square root of um, 2 multiplied by 17, which is square root of 34. And then we just leave our answer as a sad. So you can see how you can apply that formula that we derived, we came up with um, in the previous page to just work out these questions. Um, now, squaring of sets, of course, squaring something just means multiply something by itself. Um, for example, um, if I have 2 squared, it just means 2 multiplied by 2, which is 4. Um, 3 squared means 3 multiplied by 3, which is 9. So, a square, squaring something means you multiply that by itself. Now, we are going to do the same thing here in A. The square of 3 squared, that 
basically means you're multiplying square root of 3 multiplied by square root, square root of 3, which will be square root of 3 multiplied by 3, which is the square root of 9, which is 3. Interesting. Let's try if we'll find the same pattern in the next question. So here we have square root of 7 multiplied by square root of 7, which is square root of 7 multiplied by 7, which is the square root of 49, but we know that the square root of 49 is 7. And this 7 is the same as that. This 3 is the same as that. Let's check the next one. We have square root of 5 multiplied by square root of 5. That's the meaning of square root of 5 squared, which will be square root of 5 multiplied by 5, which is square root of 25. Now, square root of 25 is 5. And again, you can see that these two are the same. So what we can say is, there's a pattern here. We can generalize and say that um, square root of a, square root of any number squared is just that number. So square root of any number squared is just that number. That's very, very important. Um, and we'll, apply, we'll be applying that later on. Let's look at some more examples. Um, so here I have another question. We we'll just apply the same method. Now, the first thing we need to do here is to separate this question. So um, to try and put the whole numbers together and then the square root separately. What I mean is we can write this as 2 multiplied by square root of 6 multiplied by 3 multiplied by square root of 5. <clears throat> That's square root of 5. Now, if you look at this, 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. So our answer will be 6 multiplied by. Now, square root of 6 multiplied by square root of 5. So <clears throat> square root of 6 multiplied by square root of 5. This is the same as 6 multiplied by square root of 6 multiplied by 5, which is 6 multiplied by square root of 30. And you can just write that as 6 root 30. Good. I'll try and use a shorter method here. It's exactly the same. So this can be written as 2 multiplied by square root of 2 multiplied by um, 5. Multiplied by square root of 3. This is 5. So, which will give us now 2 multiplied by 5 is 10. Multiplied by. Now, square root of 2 multiplied by square root of 3 is square root of 2 multiplied by 3, which will give us 10 multiplied by root 6. And that will be 10 root 6. The last one, you can do it the same way. 5 multiplied by root 2 multiplied by root 7. Now, 5 is on its own, so that will just be 5, but these two guys can be multiplied together. So we'll end up with 5 multiplied by square root of 2 multiplied by 7, which will be 5 multiplied by square root of 14, which is 5 root 14.